everyone. Today we are going to make a really simple, easy basil pesto, which you can use um, really for pasta. You can put it on pizza. You could, you know, you can put it on chicken. You can do anything with it. This is a really easy, easy recipe. My daughter and I are a bit of uh, <coughs> pesto addicts in this house. We love it on everything. So this is a really easy recipe for you guys to use. So what you're going to need is two cups of uh, fresh basil. I happen to keep, um, as much as I love pesto and basil, we actually keep a, a basil plant in our kitchen. I also have some growing outside in our veggie garden. So uh, this is just an easy way to be able to add it really quickly to things. So you're gonna need some fresh, uh, fresh basil, which smells awesome. You're gonna need uh, two cloves of garlic, nuts. Now, traditional pesto uses pine nuts, which come from China. Um, but they're really, really expensive, and uh, I don't really feel like you need to use pine nuts. So today I'm going to make a walnut pesto, so I'm going to use walnuts. And instead, you're also going to need, um, what else do we need here? Oh, just some Parmesan. We need some Parmesan cheese, some fresh, some, we're going to grate up some fresh Parmesan, and some olive oil. And that's really it. That's how easy pesto is. So we're going to get started with just um, putting our basil into move it up here for you to see uh, put our basil into our food processor if you don't have a food processor you can also use your high-speed blender as well just you might have to uh, use a spatula to get it off the walls because it's a little taller so we're gonna start with the basil uh, two cups of basil we're gonna use half a cup of olive oil so we got half a cup of olive oil in there two cloves of garlic and again I'm just going to use my garlic press to do this I'm using two cloves if you are using the already pressed garlic probably use like a tablespoon it just depends how much you like garlic so we just used two cloves of garlic in there we're going to do two tablespoons of nuts my tablespoon Tablespoons of walnuts. Oops. And two tablespoons of walnuts. And then we're gonna do half a cup of parmesan. So we still need to grate it. This is the fresh, this is the fresh parmesan. If you are uh, lactose intolerant or <clears throat> you go dairy-free, you don't not, you don't need to put parmesan in it. This, this is just a traditional recipe. You could also use like nutritional yeast too, I guess, if you if you wanted that same cheesy taste. So I'm just grating my cheese. I do love to use fresh Parmesan for when I can. So we want about half a cup of Parmesan. You really need to put some muscle into this. So let's see. I'm gonna measure that out. It's about almost there. So this is just the Parmesan, uh, the fresh Parmesan I get at, at Costco. These big chunks of it. I always think that the more you can find things in their fresh form, as opposed to like the powdered Parmesan that you, like the craft Parmesan that you buy, the better it's gonna taste. So we've got about half a cup. Here we go. I've got about half a cup of Parmesan. And we're just gonna add that in here. Now, we are ready. Just mix it all together. And there you go. I'm going to show you what it looks like. We've got some fresh pesto, which, as I said, tastes great on pasta. It tastes great. Um, uh, flatbread tastes great for dipping dipping things it tastes great and um, sometimes I'll make a grilled chicken and just um, kind of put pesto on it as well it's a really great taste so there is your super easy five minute pesto highly recommend highly recommend keeping uh, a basil plant in your kitchen if you like that taste hope you guys have a good day